President Trump traveled to Mississippi Friday ahead of what is expected to be a tight gubernatorial race. The president is rallying support for the Republican candidate in the race. Tate Reeves currently serves as the state's lieutenant governor. He's facing off against Jim Hood. The Mississippi attorney general is the only Democrat to hold a statewide office. Joining me from the president's rally in Tupelo, Mississippi, is Bobby Harrison. He is the senior capital reporter for Mississippi Today. Bobby, thanks so much for being with us. You reported on how Hood's performance in the attorney general race last cycle is what dictated President Trump to specifically visit the city of Tupelo. What is the significance behind this area of Mississippi? Well, as you said, it's uh, Jim Hood is the only elected Demo statewide uh, elected Democrat in Mississippi, and he is from this area and has always done real well in this area. Now, we have a strange uh, couple of provisions in our state constitution where to win the election, you have to win a majority of the vote and the most votes in a majority of the House districts. Now, uh, Jim Hood has done exceedingly well in Northeast Mississippi, where we are right now. He, he won, in, in 2015, he won nine, nine Republican House districts up here. To, so the Republicans and Donald Trump have tried real hard to kind of take this, this home base away from him. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I think, why Donald Trump is sitting here in Miss, uh, Northeast Mississippi. And, you know, the Mississippi governor's mansion has been occupied by Republicans for 24 out of the past 28 years. How is a Democratic candidate like Attorney General Hood making strides in what has been a reliably red state? What is he saying that's resonating with voters on the ground there? Well, he talks about education, uh, the fact that the state economy is lagging the rest of the nation, and he talks about uh, the need to improve infrastructure, roads and bridges, and he also has been campaigning heavily on expanding Medicaid, as is allowed under the federal uh, Obamacare law. Uh, the uh, we're, I mean, I think 37 states have expanded Medicaid now, and Mississippi has one of the highest numbers of uninsure, uninsured uh, uh, populations in the nation. So, so that has resonated with a lot of voters, and the Republicans, and particularly Tate Reeves, has been uh, dead set against that. Interesting. Now, as you know, President Trump clinched. Mississippi by a wide margin of 18 percentage points during the 2016 election. We know Vice President Mike Pence is also set to visit the state next week. Can we expect this gubernatorial race to be seen as a referendum on the White House and its policies there in Mississippi, or are voters really clear that this is just a gubernatorial race? Well, you know, uh, Jim Hood is going to be the first Democrat to be competitive since 2003, and I think that uh, the uh, the issues are local, but some people think that President Trump will help uh, turn out the Republican base, if you will, but there's also people who believe that President Trump's visit will uh, President Trump is to be posed very badly against the African American population, and we have a we have the largest African American population percentage wise in the nation. He he posed he posed poorly with, with with that group of voters, and so some people might believe that that might pull people to the polls to vote for the Democrat Jim Hood. We'll just have to see. Right now, so keeping with those policies, as you mentioned earlier, what are the main issues motivating voters to the polls next Tuesday? in this gubernatorial race? I mean, you mentioned education, you mentioned health care, you mentioned infrastructure. Is that really what they're going to vote on for this race? Well, we'll see. I mean, if you look at the polls, and there's been several polls on those issues, the voters seem to be on Jim Hood, the Democrat side. But Tate Reeves, as for a large part of the campaign, has tried to tie Jim, Jim Hood to the National Democrats, portray him as a tax and spend liberal, and, uh, and, and talk about issues like abortion and, and those types of issues. And, uh, you know, by national standards, Jim Hood would be considered a very conservative Republican, uh, I'm sorry, a very conservative Democrat. And we just have to see if uh, Tate, Tate Reeves is able to, to link him to the national Democrats that he always mentions, like uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, who are not real popular here in Mississippi. But so far, in four elections, Jim Hood has been able to to get past those labels, and we, but now he's running for governor instead of an attorney general. So, and a lot of money's being spent to tie him to those national Democrats. And so, I mean, like Tate Reeves has had 
as you said, Donald Trump, the vice president, uh, the president's son, the ag secretary, uh, Sonny Perdue, they've all come to the state to campaign for Tate Reeves, or will come to the state. Oh, we'll come to the state to uh, campaign for Tate Reeves. On the other hand, Jim Hood has kind of campaigned by himself, has not had any national support, even though he has received some money from national, uh, national Democratic groups. Right. Well, it sounds like there in Mississippi, it might not do him a lot of good if a lot of uh, high-profile Democrats came to campaign for him. That's right. That's right. He's, he's campaigning on his own. And interestingly, he is, you know, the, he has not even endorsed the rest of the Democratic field for, for the other statewide offices. He's just, he's campaigning on his own in the campaign. Now, the polls show that he's, you know, some polls show him leading, other polls show him uh, uh, within a margin of error for the most part. All right. Most well, part. It'll certainly be a tight race, and we'll be watching. Bobby Harrison, thank you so much. Thank you.